Cocido madrileño is a traditional dish that evolved in Madrid. It's a stew that contains garbanzo beans, meat, and vegetables. It's a traditional winter dish, but many restaurants serve it all year round. One of the most popular restaurants that serve it is La Bola, where we tried this classic stew. La Bola is considered to have the best cocido in Madrid. They still make it the same way that they did when the restaurant opened in 1870. They cook the stew in small batches in clay pots over oak charcoal. Cocido was likely created sometime around 600 AD. Most experts believe that it was created by the Jewish population of Madrid, who had to come up with a dish that could be eaten on the Sabbath when Jews weren't allowed to cook. At the time, a classic Sephardic Sabbath stew called Adafina was popular. It had to be prepared and put on the fire before sundown on Friday. Long cooking dishes were indispensable for Jews because they allowed for hearty meals during Sabbath. At first, the dish used eggs and no pork. However, as anti-Semitism became rampant during the Inquisition, and that started around 1478, Cosido evolved. In order to avoid being labeled Jews, people who enjoyed the dish began modifying their Cosido to include pork products. Consequently, in the late 1400s and maybe through the 1500s, the dish began to incorporate lard, bacon, chorizo, and morcilla, which is Spanish blood sausage. Today, most cocidos include pork in the recipe. Nowadays, cocido is made up of fresh pork belly, though some cooks insist on cured pork belly because they like the funky flavor it imparts. Also included are morcilla, Spanish jamón or ham, unsmoked chorizo. Old hens are included and beef shank is also used to flavor the stock. The main ingredient of cocido is the garbanzo bean. Also included are potatoes, carrots, turnips, and cabbage, and sometimes chard or cardoon and green beans. Some cocido recipes also include the bola or ball. That's a meatball-like mixture of ground beef, breadcrumbs, parsley, and spices, which is believed to be used as a substitute of the eggs used in the adafina. Now, cocido is still very popular in Madrid. It's inexpensive and it's hearty. It's also considered the national dish of Madrid. Cocido is essentially a pot au or a hearty stew where everything's thrown in. Its low cost and hardiness made it a popular dish with Spanish blue collar workers. The ritual of serving cocido differentiates it from other stews around the world. First, the stock is separated and poured into a bowl over noodles. Then the garbanzos and vegetables are separated out onto a plate, followed by the meat. The total meal on the plate looks more like a complete meal rather than a bowl of soup or stew. Tradition provides that the ingredients of cocido must be served separately. Each serving is known as a vuelco, which means tipping or emptying out. At each time, the pot has to be emptied out to separate the ingredients. The first fuelco is the stock, which is poured over noodles. The second fuelco is the garbanzo beans and vegetables, and the third is the meat. Sometimes there's a tomato style sauce that's made to accompany the chickpeas and the vegetables. Now we did a lot of research and we determined that we would get our cocido at La Bola because of its tradition and popularity. The cocido was hearty and it was mild and it made for a very satisfying meal. When you go there, you can feel that this place is a traditional cocido house. At lunch, when it's usually eaten, you see men in business suits and ladies decked out in their Sunday best, even on weekdays. We were a little surprised at the end of the meal when we learned that the restaurant was cash only, which led Young to hunt the streets of Madrid for an ATM while I stayed prisoner in the restaurant watching the pictures of stock being poured all around me. In all, we enjoyed the experience, but if we go back, 
I'm bringing cash. <laughs>